Kedves kollégák! Mindenki előtt ott van a magyar elnökség programja. Has received the program of the Hungarian presidency, so I wouldn't like to read out the written version of this. As a Hungarian economist and minister, I would like to say a few words about the economic policy background. I would like to share with you some economic policy considerations which the ECOFIN Council and uh, the priorities of the Hungarian uh, presidency are relying on. Hungarians consider European integration as a historic achievement and its physical existence in the European Union. And our reason for this is that the European integration has managed to put an end to the long British-German war in the middle of the 20th century, and it has ensured lasting peace for us. Another reason for us, for our appreciation of the European integration and the result of this, the European Union, because this can protect us from having financial, economic uh, parring uh, wars between each other now in the first decade, the first, second decade of the 21st century. This is, uh, uh, includes measures in order to strengthen the, the euro and to achieve, achieve economic stability. Hungarians have great uh, appreciation for the technology of the European uh, uh, integration. Historians have pointed out that the uh, evolution of uh, humanity is based on three elements, culture, geography and technology. We greatly appreciate the European technology, which at the same time deepens integration, widens integration, but at the same time also increases the level of integration. Uh, for instance, in the economic uh, sphere, by creating uh, the single currency. Látom, Colleagues, az as a Hungarian economic, e economist, I have to admit that to me, alatta, the European Union looks like uh, uh, a nice building, which, however, is built on, on very sloppy foundations. Alá, First, we built uh, the structure itself, and now it looks like we'll have to reinforce the, uh, the basis, the fundamentals of the uh, the father of uh, the euro, Professor Lamfalushi, has always pointed out that the euro is a great, great achievement, but we have to continuously work to, to improve the uh, the basics, the fundamentals of the euro. As far as Hungary is concerned, we see that the political and fiscal coherence is still missing from the euro. This is uh, the element which could uh, protect us from the shocks and challenges uh, related to this context. So our main task will be strengthening the euro, and uh, therefore uh, economic uh, policy coordination will have to take place uh, in the EU in order to achieve this. This is why uh, this is one of the most important priorities from the three plus one priorities. We think that our top priority will have to launch the European semester, we'll have to strengthen economic governance, and we'll also have to strengthen regulation on financial services, and the European stability mechanism will also have to be created. So these are our three plus one priorities, which uh, outline uh, what the Hungarian presidency will have to be doing. I believe that if we manage to deliver on these responsibilities, then in the uh, short term, and perhaps in the medium run as well, we will, we will be able to say that we have managed to strengthen European integration and we've managed to strengthen the euro. But it might be that for another decade the euro will be in danger because globally in the economy um, there are tensions between global powers.
hogy egyszerre and kell this is why I believe that uh, with one hand, on one hand we'll have to strengthen economic coordination, economic policy coordination, we'll have to boost the euro, and at the same time we'll have to create a short and and medium term stability for the euro. A Christine and a I is, are responsible for the economy as well as for finances. We are also uh, responsible for employment and, and uh, in, in, in industrial policy as well. So uh, with this brand grant, I, I, I'd like to say that uh, in the medium and long term, the euro and the finance the books of the European Union will be safe if we can ensure that high employment levels, employment rates, and dynamic growth are boosting uh, our um, fiscal frameworks. If our employment rate stays uh, under 70%, with an average uh, EU 60% uh, employment rate, the US has a 75% employment rate, in uh, Asia, in China, the employment rate is at 85%. So I think with an employment rate of under 70%, uh, in, in the medium and long term, we'll not be able to ensure the stability of our common currency. So I believe that all in all, we'll have to do our best to boost uh, strong growth and fast and uh, dynamic uh, but sustainable job creation after we've created the conditions of stability. Colleagues, the Hungarian presidency sees itself as a presidency of a geographic, uh, uh, European geographic uh, area. We see ourselves as one of the member states a member state which is a member of an area which begins from the Baltics and goes all the way to the Adriatic Sea. As such a member state, I would like to ask you to consider us as the uh, the next Olyan European rim. rim this could be similar. This would be Ázsiában. similar to the uh, Pacific Rim. Igéretes, uh, a dynamic, quickly de developing area. This is what we would like to offer to the European Union. And uh, within the uh, context of the presidency, we'll be paying attention to short, medium, and long term development alike. Thank you for listening to this uh, brief presentation.